Hi, I'm Liz Irving. Welcome to Squash Lab. This is the beginner getting started six week program. Now, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about the equipment and how you're going to get ready to get on that squash court. You need a racket, of course, and nothing too heavy. I think it, you don't need to spend a lot of money, maybe something around between 130 to 150 grams. That's always a nice way to think about it. Um, you need loose wearing clothing, so nothing too tight and restrictive because you're going to have to do a lot of hard movements once you start to increase your level. Uh, shoes, uh, not black soled shoes, but um, an indoor court shoe, so something with a clear uh, sole or a white sole. And the ball. The ball that you need is a beginner ball and often they're marked with a blue colouring. So that might be a good way to get started. It has a little bit more hang time. Also, it might be something to think about is having some protective eyewear, okay? Because you're still getting used to the environment. It's very three-dimensional. So to protect your eyes is very important. So let's get started on the program. Really looking forward to working with you. Now this is the squash court. It's quite a big space. You might feel like it's a small space at times but that's fine, that's normal. It's very three-dimensional, it's a rebound sport, and what I wanna do is show you the lines of the court, what they all mean, okay? So you've got your boundaries, your upper boundaries. Now the ball needs to stay well under the red line. If it touches the red line, the ball is out. That means the rally is over, so it must stay under. We've got the service line. Now the ball, again, has to stay above the red line, not touch the red line. So if it touches, the serve is down. If the ball touches this red line, this is called the tin, then the ball is down, so the rally's over. So you've got to keep the ball within the boundaries of the top red line and the bottom red line. Now you've got your service box. This is where you're going to have to start the rally. This is called the tee. And this is the centre of the court. Now this is what you're fighting for in the rally. You want to be controlling this area as much as you can. And then we've got the back corners, okay? So these, again, you might feel a bit closed in, but you do have a lot of space to work with, okay? So this is the squash court. I am so excited about taking you through this journey of learning to love the game of squash.